I have come to meet Justin Block at his home in Somerset. He makes shooting suits and he has controversial views. So I've been, had my own tailoring business for 10 years, but I've been a hunting, shooting fisherman for the best part of 50 years. So that is 50 years of experience is telling me to have a sock bottom. Sock tomorrow. bottom is the way forward. More about the sock bottom later. First, exactly what does Justin do for a living? My business is I'm a made to measure tailor. And what that means is one up from off the peg and one down from being a full bespoke. So customers come to me or I go to them in their homes, their offices, and I measure them up. I produce books of cloths and linings and you can have your own cloth and your own lining made up. And then about six to seven weeks later, a suit arrives and then I go with it and measure them up with the little pins and chalk to finish it off with a London tailor. So I make it originally, then go and fit it and hopefully get that right and then the suit is ready to go. A three-piece shooting suit from me works out at about a thousand pounds, which is using several row cloths and all the best tweeds I can get, but I have literally no overheads because I work out of a briefcase and I'm in a car or in a train, so I keep my prices down, but I keep my quality up. So I've had this made last year in the hope that this will do me to the end of my time. So it's a bit heavy. It's about an 18, 19 ounce. So the next weight down, which is the more popular weight, is 15, 16 ounces, which would be a West End tweed, really, in its weight. And those are the tweeds you tend to wear out shooting if you're wearing a shooting suit. It would be through the autumn and winter in the not too bad weather, whereas if you're up and grouse in August, and uh, I have interestingly recently done a shooting suit to a gentleman who does a lot of grouse shooting, and he had a linen suit made, a chocolate brown linen suit with a pink lining, and it was the bee's knees. It fitted fantastically. He looks fantastic. It'll last only three or four years because uh, the thing about linen is the better the quality linen, the more it creased it looks. So the minute it put on, it looked bad. And the next weight up from this one, which is an 18 ounce, is about 22, 24 ounce. And I say that's pretty much bulletproof. So some of the keepers that um, on big estates and stalking people who want to wear it right through the winter, I will do a very heavy, keeper's tweed type weight. Also for a bit of for hunting, that's a keeper's tweed jacket for winter hunting. Um, that's very heavy, it stands up on its own and, and it's a rat catcher coat, exactly. Yes. So this one here, this is one I'm just producing. So the customer came to me with his own lining and with his own cloth and I don't know if you can see that but there's skull and crossbones there and so I've had this, I've measured him I've sent the cloth away with all my measurements and the suit has come back now in six weeks time. Um, cut through buttonholes, little colours here, green underneath there, this is called Melton. You can have whatever colour you like. You can have your customer's initials in here. You can have pen pockets, mobile phone pockets. All these details are what I do standard. And it's a fantastic cut, a nice cloth. He's quite tall, so he's six foot. So I've gone for the three button rather than a two button because that will show his shape and length the better. Nice waistcoat with a lapel, similar to what I'm wearing today. Again, he can take his jacket off and he's still got a nice waistcoat to wear. Would you say he's a tiny bit showy, this gentleman? Uh, this is, in fact, the story is that this cloth was given to him by an uncle to wear for a particular birthday party he's going to have. And the understanding that, he, I, th I believe, he, I'm making a cap as well and his wife is having a skirt made in it. So it's a full set. The next shooting suit is one of several Justin has made for a raving syndicate of guns. Yes. So here we have a set, and it's also got breeks to go with it. So this is a full set, a shooting suit. And this was made for a team of guns up in Yorkshire. And I am making about half a dozen of them. And again, they went through my cloth books and chose these colors. Um, and it, they just didn't want to be too green or too brown. They wanted to be different. They're a team that don't have their own shoot. They're a team that travel. So they were going two different shoots. Um, and they wanted to stand out from the crowd. So I think it's come out rather nicely. You know, the purple lining is matching the stripe. Um, this again, you can have on either side, you can have the gun patches. Um, you can take pockets at the back if you want to keep cartridges. All these things can be personalized to them. Um, but it's just a rather nice tweed. So each one of them is individual and each one of them will be measured and each one of them will have the same questions asked, i.e. are you right-handed, are you left-handed, 
Are you wanting to keep a pen, a pocket? All those sort of things are what I do when I make a suit. So it's all individually measured, but they as a team have chosen one cloth to go for the team. In a shooting suit, I would suggest you need to have three things. The first being you need to have space for movement. It's very important that a suit is obviously cut to fit, but is comfortable to wear. So a lot of people have suits that, are, that look lovely, but are just too tight. And then when they're getting over fences, getting out of cars, they just feel uncomfortable. The second thing I always say to clients is that I often get asked to make a jacket, a waistcoat and a pair of briefs. And they ask the jacket to have an action back. Now an action back is when you want to shoot and you open your arms to shoot. You have to, it gives you a little bit of extra cloth across the back, which means you've got space to open. So it's more comfortable. Is that what you've got a, a pleat? Or? Yes, it's like a pleat. It's across, the, it's across your shoulder line, dropping down across your back. We can't show you one because you don't have one, do you? I don't have one. And I'll tell you why I don't have one, because I often say to clients, well, that's all very nice, but actually, do you shoot with the tweed jacket on? To which they reply, no, I never wear it until I'm going to have lunch afterwards. So I say, well, why don't you have a nice tweed jacket made in the three piece that you can then put on with your pair of smart shoes when you're going into the house to eat lunch, but you can also have it as a tweed jacket that you can wear in jeans and chinos. That's the action back controversy sorted out. Now let's deal with the breeks argument. There are several different cuts of breeks. Now these are some old, old breeks I have here, but what they do show is the three different types. So the first one is one I use for stalking. Now this is a much longer one. This is not just a plus two, which is two inches below the knee. This is a near a plus four or five. So this goes almost down to my boots. And if I can show you, if I put it across me, it's very long. But what it has is at the bottom of it, a very good thing, which is called a sock bottom. Now I suggest to customers that they should have all their breeks made with sock bottoms because other breeks that may have Velcro, which gets lots of rubbish stuck in it, or buckles that can get caught in your boots and caught in the hedges. With a sock bottom, it is literally like the sock that you wear. It comes over your calf and is tight and holds it. And then you get your roll and there you are. It's a very good thing to have on a pair of breeks. It's much easier to put on in the mornings and it's much safer and it's much more comfortable. Don't terribly smart people have a kind of allergy to elastic? No, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> Well, that settles that. For more about Justin's made-to-measure service, visit justinblocktailoring.co.uk.